Let's talk about. It all started when I was 16. I have family problem and I'm struggling with my school works. I can still remember my first panic attack. I feel really anxious. My chest tightens up and it's hard for me to breathe. My hands starts like shaking uncontrollably. It feels like I'm breathing out of a tiny straw. At my worst, I feel like I'm another person, constantly clouded by negative thoughts that are distracted. I feel like something is taking over that I have no choice but to suck up to it. I know what I'm about to do is wrong or that it will lead me to my demise, but I will still choose to do it for my temporary relief. What really helps me in coping up with my problems is being open to my family and friends. I told them my problems and they help me by giving me pieces of advice that can make me a better person than who I am now. Also, they told me to do the things that could make me happy like listening to music, reading stories, playing sports, or hanging out with my friends and not think of any negative things. Before, I experienced mental health illnesses like depression and anxiety. But I decided to spread awareness. I suffered from too much sadness, loneliness, and negative stuff back then. I experienced overthinking, worse breakdowns, and I even thought about hurting myself or committing suicide. But I surpassed all of this because I was surrounded with positive people and my loved ones, of course. I was guided and given a lesson that's made me see. When I look back, I wish I had known all the good things in life, despite the struggles that I have been through. I just wanted to be happy and live peacefully, but I should have realized since then that life is not that easy. There will be times that we might fall on our feet and will make us hopeless. I am afraid to commit a mistake and disappoint the people who always believed in me, but this mindset of mine eventually resulted to my own downfall. I wish I had known that there are people whom I can rely on, that I shouldn't take everything on my own, that in every problem there is always a solution. Don't waste your time looking back on things that cause you distress. Thinking about these things will only make you feel ill about yourself. Bullies Unfortunately are an all too common occurrence in the workplace causing severe psychological harm. There are various options available to you if you are being bullied at work. To begin, consider whether your workplace already has an anti-bullying policy in the place to assist people in your circumstance. Make a quiet request to see this policy if it is exist or talk to human resources about your choice. Second, keep an eye out of other people who may have been bullied by the same bully and approach them to swap notes and strategize. Third, keep a complete record of all of your interactions with the bully so that if you decide file an official report or compliant, you can present a strong case to your superiors. My mental problem means the changes in emotion, thinking, or behavior, or a combination of these. Mental illness are associated with distress and or problem functioning in social, work, or family matters. As a student, I also encountered mental illness or mental health crisis. There are multiple factors involved including pressure to succeed in academics, financial stress, increased social media use, and less stigma around seeking help. But a mental health concern becomes a mental illness when in growing sign and symptoms cause frequent stress and affect your ability to function. A mental illness can make you miserable and can cause problems in your daily life, such as at school or work or in relationships.
hardest thing about mental health problem is searching for the truth. I constantly have to ask myself whether what I'm feeling based on reality. I hate for not trusting myself as well as I hate having to unleash an already overly analytical thought process to determine the validity of my feelings. It is very difficult to deal with not knowing what is normal and what is the right thing to do. I'd like people to treat me for who I am. Me being different is not a sin for I also am a human being. No one is a standard for being a human. We all have our differences and that is what we are all about. We live to coexist and recognize each other as an individual being. Mental illness is a physical illness of the brain that causes disruption in thinking, behavior, energy, and emotions, making it difficult to cope up with everyday life. And today, different mental disorders exist in our generation and it shows and appears that we, the youth, are the most affected one. As a young person, let's help to prevent this kind of problem by giving respect and acceptance to every individual in order for them to overcome a significant barriers to successfully coping with their illness. Advocating within our circle helps ensure that these people has the same rights and opportunities as other members in our society. Learning more about mental illness can help those in our families and communities who are suffering. By doing this, we can fight mental illness and make the world a better